Hey there, it's Mr. Broderick again, 5 Minute Biology. In this segment, we're going to cover two skills. Uh, first skill we're going to be covering is taking DNA and transcribing it into mRNA. And transcription, which is what this process is, transcription, is a process of making an RNA copy from DNA. This happens in the nucleus of your cells, and we're going to be practicing that skill today on paper, um, not in your body, obviously. Uh, and then taking mRNA and taking that code in making it into a protein or an amino acid sequence. Again, remembering that proteins are made of amino acids, so an amino acid sequence refers to a protein. That happens at the ribosomes, and that is called translation. All right, so those two skills. First thing we're gonna do is look at DNA more in detail, then learn how to take it into RNA, and then take it into a protein sequence. So let me erase this. All right, so starting with the DNA molecule, think to what you remember what a DNA molecule looks like. I'm sure you remember something like this that I drew in class, representing the double helix. And then if we unzip that apart, we had letters. For example, A, C, C, G, C, T. Um, those letters stand for the bases in DNA. And DNA has two base pairs, so it's got two strands connected by these hydrogen bonds. Let's see if we can remember what the opposite side of the strand should be. This is T, G. C, oh, no, G, C, G, A. So we've got a double-stranded DNA molecule, right? The strands are connected by weak hydrogen bonds, which are very important when DNA makes copies of itself. They're strong enough to hold it together, but weak enough to be pulled apart. Um, and then if we zoomed in real quick, like let's say on this last two, different, different color here, um, we actually see that these uh, base pairs are not just base pairs, but they're made up of a phosphate, P, a sugar, S, and the base. In this case, the base is T for thymine, the base molecule. And that extends out and touches, through hydrogen bonds, the A of the other nucleotide, which is just a repeat of this. And again, we call this by itself a nucleotide, which is a small part of this big chain called a nucleic acid. And DNA is a nucleic acid as evidenced by the NA in the name DNA. So that was a quick review of DNA. You can leave this up to review for a second, but I'm going to erase and move on. So let's go back to having a DNA strand. Um, DNA is double stranded, but on the EOC a lot of times what they'll do is they'll unzip it and they'll give you just one strand. So let me show you DNA strand A, C, G, C, C, A, C, T, A. That's a DNA strand. That's one side. You could fill in the other side or make the replicating strand pretty easily. A with T, always together. C with G. Good couple. There. There we go. Good. That's the opposite DNA strand. However, when we're making RNA, so this is DNA, to make the RNA strand, right, we have to make a similar we have to use a similar process, but in this case, we uh, we attach a U with the A. So to make RNA, mRNA, wherever there's an A, we're going to be putting a U. A with U, C with G. G with C, C with G, C with G, A with U, C with G, T with A, in this case, we still have the A, and A with U. And so these are the ones that go together here. Okay, and now we've got our new RNA strand, which is just a copy of the DNA strand, but with U's instead of T's. All right, so that's the process of transcription on the EOC. If they ask you for an mRNA copy, you always use U to make a copy of the opposite side of the DNA molecule. All right, now the tricky part comes when you have to take these three-letter sequences and make them into proteins. These three letter sequences are called codons in the mRNA, and they stand for one amino acid. Stand for one amino acid in a protein. So UGC actually stands for an amino acid, which we can look up in a chart. GGU stands for an amino acid, and in your body, those amino acids are chained together to make a protein. So let's look at a, an actual example problem of doing this to help you understand it. Um, let's see. This is the problem right from the EOC uh, release test. Um, they give you a big chart, codons in mRNA. Right? Whenever you're looking at a chart in the EOC, you want to look at the title because the title tells you what's going on. In this case, codons means three-letter base sequences, and mRNA means you're going to see U's. Okay, so like, let's skip down to the question. 
It says, which amino acid sequence can be coded from the DNA sequence C-A-G-T-A-G-C-G-A? Notice, I underline DNA. They give you that this is a DNA sequence. But, 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 there's a T in the DNA sequence. This chart has no T's in it because it's RNA. So you need to get a sequence, this DNA sequence, into RNA. So I'm going to zoom in. Your first step is to take this DNA sequence and make it into RNA. So C with G, U with A, G with C, C, T, A, U, C, G, C, U. Perfect. All right, now we've got our three letter sequences, our codons, G U C A U C G C U. Now to use the chart, I'll zoom up here so you can see it in your viewer. You can't see the whole chart right now, but I'm going to leave it like this. Our first one is G U C. So we start from the left. We look for our first base in this column right here. We find it at G. We go over, match up the U from the top down here, and we look for C. G U C is right here. Valine. Zoom out and show you that a little bit better. We've got the G here, the U here, and the C here. They all line up in this box to give us valine. Alright, so GUC is valine. Uh, next one is, let me see here, AUC. AUC is A U C isoleucine. They all line up to figure out into this box, giving you AUC is isoleucine. All right, so valine isoleucine, now we can go down to our problem and cross out a couple here. Valine isoleucine, valine isoleucine, can't be this, can't be this. So we're between A and D, we're looking for glycine or alanine for our last two. So GCU is our last one, GCU. We've got G, we've got C, and we've got U. And they all line up right here to give me alanine. we finished the question, go down to the bottom. Make sure you bubble your scantron. Valine, isoleucine, alanine. You're finished.